Hey guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review. And in this video, guys, moving the 85 rated in form Jordan Henderson from Liverpool. This is a pretty awesome card, and I was able to pick him up for 66,000 coins in the three games that I did play. He didn't score me any goals, and he got me two assists. And he also does have a three star big force as well as three star skill. Most moving along, using him stats, his main stats, stats will be his 86 vision, his 83 stand tackle, as well as his 86 reactions. And finally, his 87 long passing. And he did also have the basic chemistry style applied to this Jordan. Jordan Henderson card. Now, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get this review up tonight because the EA servers went down like half an hour after the new content had dropped. Um, so I honestly thought that the servers weren't going to come back up tonight, but actually after half an hour they did. But of course, that's the reason why I only played three games with them because those 30 minutes basically cost me time to play more games. And um, that's why I was only able to play three games with this card. And you'll see that I was using him in a 4-5-1 formation in the main team. And in-game, that uh, team is switched up to a 4-3-2-1 formation with him playing as a central midfielder alongside uh, foot headliner Deli Alley and uh, prime icon Rui Costa. And I thought this card was decent. I mean, first of all, he has gone down by 10,000 coins since I bought him. He's going for around about 55,000 coins now. I have sold him on since to make sure that I don't lose any more coins with EA tax. So as I'm currently looking on the screen right now, I can't see the boosts that the basic chemistry style actually gives to him. It gives like a general range of increases to like maybe his... I, I couldn't tell you to be honest, but um, yeah... You know, from looking at the card and stuff, he looks a decent box to box before that. I mean, he lacks in pace, uh, and he is, he's not very slow, but he's not quick at the same time. And does it matter for a central midfielder? Maybe to an extent, because we're getting to that stage of FIFA now where even if you're using a central midfielder, you do need them. You know, it's becoming a lot more of the norm now for a lot more central midfielders as more cards get, you know, more special cards, the higher race a card gets released in this in this cycle of FIFA. There's a lot more central midfielders that are actually got better pace. Now, to have a central midfielder currently in the game with 67 pace, actually, in my opinion, isn't that ideal. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad enough to put it down as a negative to him, but... Most central midfield players now that you can pick up for a relatively affordable price have a lot more than 67 pace. We're talking like minimum 75 pace or something. So the fact that he's got 67 pace isn't the best. Uh, I look at his shooting and, uh, I mean, his shooting isn't the greatest either. But, um, you know, the word parts of the card that I did really like him. Mean, first of all, his passing is genuinely fantastic. Two assists in the three games is a great return from a central midfield position. 86 vision, um, 87 long passing, 87 short passing. You'll have to go back to the start of the video to see if the basic cams that actually gives boosts to those stats potentially it does um but he's also got decent curve and crossing at the same time and obviously a good assist return um his through balls were very very good i have to say i was very impressed with those and was unlucky not to return any more assists from those chances but um you know in terms of creating chances henderson can easily do that you know that 100 percent that's not a problem whatsoever i was very impressed with his passing i thought it was um i thought it was right up there uh, it was really really good and then the second pro as well will also be his strength uh, he's only got 74 strength actually i know for a fact that the basic cam style does increase his strength it takes his strength up from 74 to 17 i just have like that pictured in my mind um and i think even his aggression might have been increased as well with the uh, with the basic cam style but um what i was you know i thought he was good in being able to you know obviously it's essential for that you want someone's gonna be able to hold themselves up on the pitch you know not get out muscled uh, you know, be able to bully opposition players off the ball, and Henderson can definitely do that. You know, he never really, uh, th you know, that I recall him ever getting bullied off the ball by, an, uh, you know, by an opposing player. He could always, you know, use his strength to retain position. Obviously, because he isn't that quick, you know, at least he's got that physicality to be able to, you know, keep him with possession of the ball, which is obviously very good. So, um, so passing and strength wise, I was very happy with. Dribbling isn't too bad to him. Uh, he's not clunky. He's also not the smoothest player that I've used like ever in the game and you wouldn't expect that from a central midfielder but I thought his dribbling was was fine for the most part obviously you know decent ball control and decent reactions as well shooting wise um I never really had that many chances with him his shooting ch uh, his shooting stats aren't great and obviously uh, for Liverpool IRL his shooting is uh he well he never shoots actually he always seems to pass instead but um 79 shot power 77 positioning weirdly a stat that uh ea have actually been able to kind of nail with jordan henderson because although he scores some worldies occasionally for us i remember he scored an amazing goal against chelsea once um and he scored a few of the great goals over his time at liverpool usually when he scores he usually scores an amazing goal nine times out of ten but it's very rare um so i think that ea have actually nailed those stats well for a change but um but on the whole i think it's a decent card you know for fifty five thousand coins you might potentially go slightly lower than that 
uh, with rewards tomorrow and stuff as well. Obviously, if you get him, you know, in your rewards, it's a good player to have. I'd be happy because there's a Liverpool player. I'm not going to keep him because I need the coins for the future stars reviews once they come out on Friday. But I think he's a decent card. I wouldn't use him, obviously, as a cam. I think his, possess his best position is definitely a CDM, no question about that. I think as a box, uh, box to box midfielder, he lacks slightly in the pace and finishing for that. So if you're going to play him anywhere, CDM position, I actually think he'd be, uh, he would be pretty decent in that position um, to use there at this stage of FIFA. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Just a quick thing to note at the end of this. I've obviously been doing the first two episodes of my Pacey Bits Road to Torre series. Now, what I've decided to do is because that video got quite a few dislikes on the second one. I'm not too sure if it was maybe because of the title that I put for the video. But those videos will probably start to move over to the second channel. And I'll leave a link to those uh, or to my second channel, hopefully, if I remember, in the description of this video. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.